It's Pet Peeve Day on Veda, which I've been waiting for for a long time because I have a bunch and it kind of pisses me off that I have a bunch, but I do. But of course now I'm running late this morning, so I have to talk a little bit fast and I'm going to try to keep this short. So I'm really only going to talk about one and it has to do with awareness and people's awareness of stuff. And I'm not talking like social awareness, like, oh, those are layers going away and, and stuff like that. I'm talking about spatial awareness and awareness of the fact that there are other people on this planet, not just you. I am acutely aware of other people. In general, I just, I like to try to be the unobtrusive sort. I like to not get in other people's way. But you get those people who seem completely oblivious to the fact that there are other people around trying to do various things, possibly even the same thing that they're doing. I wonder if it's because our bodies are largely water, that maybe we have that water-like quality where we will fill up whatever volume we are given. For example, you find the couple at the grocery store in the cereal aisle and he's positioned by the cart leaning over it like this and he's about eight inches away from the shelf so you can't really get past here in between the shelf and the cart. And she has positioned herself sort of at the tip of the grocery cart, but exactly in between the edge of the cart and the shelf on that side. And she's standing there sort of like this, taking up as much space as she possibly can in the aisle. So nobody else can walk down this aisle without having to say, excuse me, and, and wiggle around. And then they give you a nasty look when you say, excuse me, and try to pass them. Like, this is their aisle, and you were supposed to answer three questions about the airspeed velocity of a, a coconut-laden swallow before you're allowed to go past. And it's like, really? No, I'm just grocery shopping. Or you also get those people at the grocery store who walk up to the produce section, and, you know, they're looking at the lettuce. They hold onto the shopping cart with one hand and extend as far as they can to reach the green beans that are down there have to stop and look at everything else that's along the way. So they're effectively covering like four or five feet of the produce section. They look at you all mean if you need to get in there and get your lettuce, but they're taking up so much space. Can I please just grocery shop? They're green beans. It, they're freaking green beans, okay? The sidewalk is another one of my favorite ones. If you've got a large group of people walking down the sidewalk, I can understand you've got 17 people all trying to cluster together. Yes, they're going to fill up the sidewalk. But I have also seen entire giant city block sidewalks taken up by two people because they're walking and they're walking this way and then they have to laugh and giggle and come back this way and then they have to walk close together and then they have to go, oh no you didn't and walk all sorts of far apart and they will take up the entire sidewalk. And I walk fast, I know that I walk fast. I know that I walk faster than the average bear. My comfortable walking pace is somewhere around four miles an hour. This is why my New York friends like me. And I don't expect everybody to walk as fast as I do, but it would be nice if there was a passing lane, perhaps on the left. So people walking slow walk on the right side of the sidewalk and people walking fast walk on the left side of the sidewalk. But also keep in mind that there's people coming towards you on the sidewalk as well who also need a left and right lane. Sort of like the sidewalk then becomes a road. And I am so acutely aware of this specific example that when I travel overseas to like England where they drive on the other side, I walk on the other side of the sidewalk thinking that that's how their brains work. I'm weird. I know. Or when you walk out of a building, a whole bunch of people leaving a building, let's say it's the end of the workday or whatever, but there's one tourist in there and they walk out the door and they stop. As soon as they've passed the door frame, they stop to take a look around and survey their surroundings to figure out which way they need to go next. Meanwhile, the 4,000 people behind him are now smushed in the doorway and can't go anywhere. Or if he's worried about taking those extra three or four steps and getting in the way of traffic going this way, just walk to the other side of the sidewalk. Very few people actually walk along the actual curb. So you could walk over there to figure out where it is you're, that you're going without having to mess up the traffic flow for everybody behind you. This is obviously something that gets to me quite a bit. And I don't know, with so many people looking for their place in the world and looking to see how they fit in the world and all that sort of thing, I guess it just kind of irritates me that so many people don't even leave space for other people. I dated this guy and he was staying over and I got up to go to the bathroom and I came back and he was lying diagonally across my bed so there was no space for me in my own bed. And I'm like, dude, if there's anywhere in the world where somebody should have left a little bit of space for me, it's in my own freaking bed. He thought that I was nuts. Am I wrong? Should I have to ask for space in my own bed? That little bit of awareness that seems so lacking in our society sometimes, that there are other people, that it's not just you, that we all have the same rights, we all essentially want the same things, and wouldn't it be nice if 
you left a little bit of room for somebody else to be able to have the same things. I guess it bothers me that I, I tend to extend those courtesies to the people around me all the time. I spend a lot of energy extending those courtesies to other people and I often feel like those courtesies are not extended to me and that pisses me off. That's my pet peeve. I'm gonna try to stop now because I've been recording way too much crap on this topic. <laughs> Sorry about that.